What's up guys, Ryan here from I Teach Credit and I wanted to share an awesome thing with you guys with regards to credit cards, especially when you're trying to buy a house and you wanna qualify for the most amount of money that you possibly can from a debt to income ratio standpoint. Why? Because the lower the debt to income ratio, the higher or more house you can afford. Let's explain how we can do this with credit cards. Let's just say, for example, you have five credit cards, and I have people that sometimes have 10 credit cards, some people have two credit cards. For the sake of this example, let's say you have five credit cards, and each credit card has a $500 balance. Now, of course, it's never gonna work out like that. Some cards could have a $1,000 balance, some could have a $200 balance, but let's just, for the sake of this, say, you have five cards and they all have a balance. That's $25 a month in minimum monthly payments. 25 times five comes out to $125. Now, let's look at an alternative plan. Let's say instead of using five different credit cards, you know you're looking to buy a house, you know you have to have your credit pulled. Instead of using five different credit cards, I want you to pay off some of these credit cards and only use the two cards that A, have the highest limits, and B, give you the best rewards, whether that's cash back or if that's points. Let's take a look and say you have $1,500 and 1000 it's still the same $2,500 total balance on both sides. Here's the difference. Instead of having five minimum monthly payments of $25, you may have two payments of 35 bucks a piece. That's $70. Guys, that's a difference of $55 towards your monthly DTI. Now, $55 alone is not a lot. It's not a lot of money. But if you take this amongst all the different types of accounts that you have and you implement this, for some people, that $55 could be $155, which could make or break the difference between you qualifying for what you want and not qualifying. So it's really important for you to understand when you're trying to buy a house, you really need to focus in on your credit. You wanna make sure you know what your balances are and you wanna understand how many different accounts have balances on them, especially when you pull your credit. Now, one of the things that's important to notice or to pay attention to here is when you do this, you want to make sure that these accounts have high credit limits. Why? Because if they don't, what you're doing is you're hurting your credit score by having a higher utilization. Okay? That's actually going to cause your credit score to drop. But by having more accounts with zero balances, that's going to cause your score to go back up. Because every time you pay an account to zero, and if you don't believe me, just use credit monitoring tools. All the free things that I recommend, like Credit Karma, Nerd Wallet, Wallet Hub, all these different things, you'll see that by having less cards with balances, your credit score will go up. Your utilization might stay the same because at the end of the day, you still owe the same amount of money. But by having more cards with no balances, you're going to see that your credit score will actually go up. Okay? If you guys found that helpful, let me know. If you have any comments on that or questions about it, put some comments below. Let me know and I'll help answer them for you. If there's something else you want me to talk about, let me know and I'll cover that in the next video. Have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you later.